the uh, the uh, the way that you had women over men in that in your congregation, which is off. Cause usually, you know, y'all had videos where y'all were cursing out Eve too, you know. But now it's just like, man, bro, y'all just be better off, bro, just putting putting the holy scriptures down, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're just real talk. You know what I'm saying? Repent or not. You know what I'm saying? Cause this thing's gonna move with or without you, but man, we trying to get the hell up out of here, man. It's this 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 even even when the Lord, you know, not to sound on even though when the Lord bless you, man. You still walk outside your door, man. Jake out there starving. Jake OD on K2. You know what I'm saying? Your people on K2. Okay? Little uh little uh Jake kids running around here bad as hell. And you trying to establish a kingdom here. Bro, this shit needs to be wiped out, bro. Okay? You need more on that, bro? Okay. Uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, uh -huh. and hath greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Bro, so what are the men of your congregation supposed to do? They're supposed to preach and go hard on Esau. Okay? Shatan, Satan, Diablo, the devil, the so-called white man. They supposed to go hard, bro. The scripture just said, bro, he took it out of his vengeance on us, bro. Did, did not the brother read earlier to recompense them who trouble us, man? So they have to be paid back. God, says, uh, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom uh -huh. and will cut off man and beast from it and I will make it desolate from Teman uh -huh. and there the dead shall fall by the sword. Uh, sounds like destruction to me, bro. <laughs> they ass gonna be cut off, bro. They gonna serve, they gonna serve, they gonna serve that tough captivity for a thousand. Then they out of there, man. They don't, they don't need to, bro. They don't need to be in no seat of power, no judgment or nothing, bro. Zero. You know what I'm saying? And then plus, like the brother's been saying here as of late, Jay got a uh, apartment mentality, man. Bro, I, through the spirit, I, I always make sure that, uh, I'm pretty sure brothers do this too, try to, uh, in the spirit, try to function like the so-called white man, man. It sucks, bro, weekly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on, what, uh, anticipating a paycheck or your salary or your bonus, bro. Hell, even brothers who got businesses, man. And you still gotta go through the so-called white man. You got taxes. You know what I'm saying? You gotta deal with uh you gotta you gotta deal with uh with uh all, all type of stuff, man. All paperwork. What you say, brother? Yeah. Licenses, yeah. Yeah. All type of inspections. Yeah. Everything you gotta have done, you gotta go through them too. Yeah. You still even on an entrepreneurial level, man. And that, and that real talk, that yeah, hell yeah, it's a swipe and a jab at all y'all who uh, got something to say about a brother at GMS who got a business or they got a job. I think you're supposed to get your daily bread, bro. Nobody, hey, brothers ain't been told to sit at the crib and kick it. <laughs> yeah, Ralph, right when can you remember we was told to sit at the crib and kick it? <laughs> yeah. No, hell no. We all got a job to do on many levels, bro. And you, you sitting here playing with the game. But according to Yahweh Bashem Yashah, the Lord gonna cut off the so-called white man. With the, can you read that last part again, Baba Kashah? Yeah, Ezekiel 25 is uh, 13. Okay. Okay. So, like, I said we gonna finish off. This. Oh, okay, okay. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, uh -huh. and I will make it desolate from Teban, uh -huh. and there the dead shall fall by the sword. Fall by the sword. You gonna be out of there, man. Esau, aka the red man, the real red man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Salakia, I've been saying white, my bad. You're not pure, my nigga. Salakia, the red man, the real red man. You, you shall be cut off by the sword, bro. You're gonna be destroyed. Deacon Asaph, 
sitting there talking about, well, no, we don't preach this and that. The scriptures do, bro. You don't even need to say nothing else. Y'all, y'all really that that whole front line of y'all don't need to say jack. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't need to say nothing else about what's that, this and that. Oh, it is not about hate, bro. The scripture ain't about love, love, love. It's love and hate. Actions need to be taken. Sitting there playing, man. This is 2 Corinthians 11 and 13. For such are false apostles, mm -hmm. deceitful workers, uh -huh. transforming themselves into the apostles of Hamashiach. Yeah. See, you, you, you false, man. The apostles at GMS and the elders at GMS, bro, through the spirit of Yahweh and Shah, got 100% truth collectively as a body, man. Y'all collectively as a body taking up tithes for that building, man. Sitting there selling your people out for FRNs, bro. For probably I'm gonna I'm gonna speak. Well, hell, I mean it's gonna it's gonna be manifest anyway, bro. Y'all y'all probably gonna get a slot somewhere on the own network through the spirit or BET, bro. I already seen the interview with uh with Vice. Had a so-called white man even seen the con in you, Nate? He yeah. said, yeah, you know what I'm saying. He said, yeah, you know Nate is charming, this and that. But you a damn con. And you kind of your people in the congregation, bro. So man, hey, you uh, you men, you young men of, of faith over there in IUIC who know the the name of the uh, Most High and the Son, and then what what uh what this truth what this truth consists of? Y'all better wake the hell up and examine yourself, man, and pray for mercy unto your high man. Okay. Keep on that a little bit. It says, and, and no marvel. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Yeah, the so-called white man been giving you these, my bad. The red man been giving you these goodies. You know? Red man been giving you these goodies, bro. A tax break. You doing it for the tax break. Bro, just like y'all been doing for years, y'all might as well just go on the highways and byways, bro. Let the women be at home with the children. Hey, no problem. Preach the name. The father and the son's name. Preach the faith. Preach the red man is is the devil, Esau. Be good money, bro. But no, you wanna you wanna complicate you actually complicating things, man. Cause you you you're, you're being a snare and a stumbling block to the nation of Yashrala, man. You got Jake who genuinely want to get this thing, and here you are with new breakdowns and things that are not even even in the Holy Scriptures, man. You wanna fill up your own damn belly, man. Shame on you. Uh, uh, somebody can get a uh, Psalm 73. Psalm 73. What we about to get into now is what the brother what the brother went into beautifully is uh how how uh, these other Israelite groups you know started with uh, IUIC prime example who we're talking about you know they want to say that we don't that, that they can't speak against the so-called white man which is which is Esau Edom but according to the scriptures. We're supposed to speak out against Esau because right. why? He's going to be ultimately he's going to be destroyed at the end of the day, man. Okay, he's the one that's ruling the world. And uh, matter of fact, get uh, uh, get Joe Dante. He's the one that's destroying the world, and he's the one that's in power of the world right now. So let's first we start off with Joe Dante twenty four, and then we can jump into Psalm seventy three and start the up. All right, this is Job chapter nine verse twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right, the earth. Is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, the earth as we know it is everything within the earth, man. You got you got the uh, you got the government system, okay, the food, you know, the the education, the things that we hear, music, the things that we see on TV, you know. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So you got to ask yourself, who is the wicked according to the scriptures? Who is the wicked according to the scriptures? Somebody uh, also uh, real quick. So like I know we jumping around already. Good, okay. uh, Malachi. Chapter uh, Malachi, the first chapter. Start at verse one, because we got to verify now, since these niggas want to go off and say that you can't speak against the against the so-called white man who's the devil. That's right. We got to verify who the wicked is according to the scriptures. Like who, who is the, who is who is the wicked? Who is the Most High talking about, man? That's right, brother. He's talking about a particular people on the planet Earth, man. To see the, the the seed of Cain, man. The seed of the serpent. All right. So somebody got uh, somebody got Malachi one. Yeah. 
You know, because we gotta we gotta verify, we gotta verify who the wicked is on the planet Earth, man. Malachi chapter one, starting at verse one. Malachi one and one, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Uh -huh. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Right. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Uh -huh. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Was not Esau's brother? Was not uh, Jacob and Esau brothers? Okay. Going back into the prophecy, going back to the history of Genesis, the 25th chapter. That's where that's where the that's where the uh, that's where the war started, man. It started in the womb, man. We have a natural born enemy on the planet Earth, man. That's right, brother. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got a natural born enemy on the planet Earth, man. That's and right. who do you think it is, man? It's a so-called white man. That's right. It's just that simple. Go ahead. Was not Esau was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord. Right. Yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. Right, so he's the, the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said, but I have loved Jacob and I have hated Esau, man. Esau has been hated since he since since uh since he was been created in the womb, man. It tells you that in Romans 9, man. Having the children having done no wickedness, man, it goes to the according of election, man. The Heavenly Father chose Jacob, man. That's right, brother. It's just that simple. Go ahead. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste. For the dragons of the wilderness. Right, and he laid it. He, he laid his heritage in the mountains and, and laid it waste for the dragons of the uh, for the dragons, man. Going back to when he got pushed back into the uh, the Caucasus Mountains, man. That's where Esau was, man. That's where you get. That's where you get the uh, the cavemen. You know, that's where you get the red men. You know. So that's why whenever you see these commercials, you know, when they got the Geico commercial, so easy a caveman can do it. That's talking about Esau, man. It's talking about the base man on the planet Earth, man. Right. It's so easy Esau can do it. <laughs> Roughly paraphrasing, that's pretty much what they're saying, man. You don't go ahead. Verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places, said the Lord, Lord right. of hosts. Right, so Esau says, since we're impoverished, man, we're going to build the desolate places, man. That's why you had them coming over, uh, that's why you had them coming over to the Americas. Uh, putting in captivity uh, the Gadites, the Reubenites, and the Seminole Indians, man, the Northern Kingdom, okay? Going over all through the, going over all through the, uh, you know, Asia Minor, taking over all those lands, the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire. That was him, that was the, that was the start of Esau coming back into power, building up the desolate places, man. Because Jake was actually ruling those areas, man. We were in, we were in uh, power at that time. You know, but according to prophecy, according to what the scripture says, East, this is the time for Esau's kingdom to be a, to be established. But now, in the in the lifetime that we're living in, Esau's kingdom is is going down. It's going down and crumbling. That's right, brother. Go ahead. Which proves we're still living in this time as well. He's still he's still in rulership. This is his time. So we're still in this in this crack of shit, man. They shall build, but I will throw down. They shall build. But I shall throw down, man. So all these different, if you can pan the cameras on these buildings, brother. You know, when you see these different buildings and you see these huge, you see these huge skyscrapers, I'm gonna ask you a question. When you see these, uh, when you see these different buildings and you see these, these, these skyscrapers, what, what, uh, what, does, what does that remind you of? Just, just curious. Mountains, right? They remind, it reminds you of the mountains, man, because that's how, that's what Esau's, that's what his M.O. is, man, that he's from the mountains, man. Like that, so like, like that song, that commercial, like a rock, oh, like a rock, I forgot oh, about that. Like a, yeah, oh, well, they, oh, like a rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's a beautiful point, man. It's like a rock, man. He wants to, he wants to live high in the habitations, man. You know why he lives high like that? That, show, that shows Esau's loftiness, man. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. You got you got the founding fathers, man. The so-called founding fathers, I say, on on Mount Rushmore, man. Was that George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, and Andrew was and, uh, and Andrew Jackson or something like that? I, I, I don't know something, something like that. You know what I'm saying? But it goes to show you Esau's Esau's character, man. That's right. What you Caucasians? <laughs> they hate that too. You know, and I'ma say, you know. Caucasians, you guys came from the Caucasus Mountains, man. Oh, that's right, brother. That's right. why you build your desolate. That's why you build your mountains high, man. That's right. Go ahead. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. They shall call them 
the border of wickedness. So that's a key point. Going back to Job 9 and 24, which we want to finish up Malachi first. But that's a key point to Job 9 and 24, who the wicked is. It tells you that Esau was going to build the desolate places, and, they, and then the Heavenly Father shall call them the border of wickedness. Right? Go ahead. Yeah. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Read that again. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. One more time. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And the people who the Lord hath indignation against forever. Okay, so if the Heavenly Father has indignation against the people forever, and he's, he, he's plainly saying it in the scriptures, it's not, this, isn't, this isn't a dark saying, this isn't a parable. I mean, it's a parable if you don't know who Esau is, right. you know? But if you're in the know that Esau is a so-called white man, it's plain as day. It tells you. This is the people who the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, has indignation with forever. So if the Heavenly Father has indignation with his people forever, why don't you prophesy on the streets telling the people who, who the so-called white man is right. and who the, the enemy of the who the enemy of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is, man? Is there any more to that? Okay, Kyle, Kyle, you good with that. Like, yeah, it, was, it was Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, Thomas Tom, yeah, it was Abraham Lincoln, uh, Washington, and or Roosevelt and uh, Jefferson. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's and that was the, those were the those were the main ones that started uh, the whole the whole uh, Declaration of Independence. You know what I'm saying? Having the uh, having the establishment of uh, you know the 13 colonies and all that good stuff. You know, pretty much the establishment of uh, the Corporation of America as that's you right. see it today, man. That's right, brother. You know, enslaving you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's right. Back at Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So we already established who the wicked is. The wicked is That's Esau, right. according to the according to the precept. Go ahead. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Right, he covered the faces of the judges thereof, man. He covered the face of the of, of the main judge, which is Yahweh Shai, man. And he covers the faces of the judges thereof today, man. That's why you see in the history books. Yep. You know, you, you may see uh you may see like Noah or Moses. You know our ancient forefathers, King David, Solomon. You know who, uh, uh, who's the, who's the representation of those men, man? Our, our forefathers. They got them as so-called white men, the angels. And they got them as little babies flying around, little white babies flying around in heaven, man. <laughs> hey, can I say something, bro? Go ahead, brother. Oh man, I, uh, I looked up Jacob and Esau on Google, man, and they even got them as two white dudes, man. Yeah, no two white babies. How the fuck is that possible? <laughs> make you mad, don't yeah, you? man. It tells it tells you that uh, Esau came out. It, it tells you that Esau came out red and hairy, like a hairy garment. It doesn't describe Jacob. It doesn't describe Jacob's color. Why? Because he was natural. Yeah. He came out smooth. He came out like everybody else. Yeah. Esau had that mark, that that, that 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 curse that went back to Cain, that was put on Esau, man. Because Esau is Cain in the, in the reincarnation, man. Go ahead. If not, where and who is he? So if the so-called white man isn't the devil, according to, uh, 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 isn't the so isn't the devil, all right? Then where and who is he, bro? Yeah. Who is the one that's covering the faces of the judges there, yeah. bro? You don't got you don't have it. You don't have a a, a Moabite uh, version of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Right. You don't got an Ammonite version of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You don't have that, man. He saw all around the damn planet. Esau around the whole damn planet, bro. You got Esau <laughs> as the Egypt, as, as the uh, as the Hamites. You know, you got him as the last samurai. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was you know what I'm saying? The Mexican, the Mexican, the uh, you know, the, the fight for the Alamo. Who's gonna who's gonna be the key? Who's gonna be the key Edomite? Man, it's gonna be George Clooney or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not saying he's an Edomite. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's just a, rep a representation. Yeah. You know, but also uh, when you made that point about Jacob and Esau, I did notice too when you see a movie. And this is a movie that I seen. They have they have Jacob. They have Jacob <laughs> as a so-called white man, but you know who they have Esau? They have Esau as a Jake. Wow. They have Esau as a Jake, man. Wow. Yeah. So at the end of the day, man, you devils, man, your skirts being lifted. You know what I'm saying? Your skirts being lifted, and and, and you being you being recognized for who you are, man. And us men of the Lord, hope, hopeful men of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna boldly proclaim. Your, your identity, man. That's right. We're not going to sit here and tell our congregation and the people, oh, yeah, no, 
we're not gonna we're not gonna preach against the so against the so-called white man. No, man. We about to get in your ass, man, because the scriptures tell us to. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter sixty-one, start at verse one. You to break it down. The spirit of the Lord power is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Woo! He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Come on, bro. Can you, that's, that's locked, bro. Can you read that again? Bro? God, God. That's all I'm like, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> Isaiah 61 and one. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because uh -huh. the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. What's mm. the, what's the, that's a bro. I, I want you to break it down, but what's the good tidings, bro? The good tidings is the gospel. That's right. The gospel is the good news. What the good news is that the kingdom of heaven is on the way, That's right. telling our people to repent. That's right. Okay, and that the other nations, starting chiefly with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is going to be in captivity. That's right. And we're going to we're, we're going to inherit the kingdom. Yep. That's what the good news. That's what the good tidings are. Oh, you got it, bro. Break down. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. The brokenhearted. Our people are have been. Our people are in a broken state of mind, man. Huh? You know. The whole head is sick, like it tells us in Isaiah, number, uh, Isaiah chapter one. Go ahead. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To proclaim liberty unto the captives, which you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans are still captive. That's right. Underneath the so-called white man to this very day. That's right, brother. Still in his hand. Go ahead. So we're proclaiming that, man. We're making a That's declaration. Right. We're actually speaking out on that. That's right. So what Nate is talking about is completely contrary to what the scriptures are saying. That's right, brother. We are here to proclaim the, the, that the Lord is going to uh, put this devil down, That's man, right. And liberate his people. We are here to scream to talk about lungs, man. Uh, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, okay, taking down America, man. That's right, brother. Taking down a so-called white man, all right? A prison, the, the whole state of our mind, man, which the Esau the devil has put on, on, our, on our people, okay? Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh and the day of vengeance of our power Ooh. to comfort all that mourn. Man, and that's what we're proclaiming, man. We're proclaiming the return of Yahweh Shai, man. We're proclaiming the return of Yahweh Shai, which is going to destroy this, 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 this system that we're living in, the system of the beast. Okay? That's what's going to be destroyed. Because who controls the system of the beast, man? Esau. That's right, brother. Edom. Edom is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, man. That's right, brother. That's how you clearly know who was in power today, man. Okay? So we're gonna we're gonna boldly proclaim that message, man. To proclaim it means to make known. That's right, brother. We're gonna make known who Esau is, man. We're gonna make known who the true Israelites are according to the scriptures. We're gonna make known the prophecies according to the scriptures, man. That's right. Okay? And it's just true, man. That's a, that's a clean cut to you, Nate, man. That's, that's right. a clean, smooth cut, man. Uh, correct. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to his word, it is because there is no light in them. Right. To the law and to the testimony, if you don't speak according to this word, it's because there is no, there is no light in you, man. So you're not speaking according to the word, my man. That's right. Jack. You know what I'm saying? You ain't speaking according to the word, man. You trying to take away, you, you taking away from the scriptures, man. And the scriptures tell you, I believe it's in uh, Revelations 22. Add or take yeah, away. you don't add or take nothing away from the word, man. Because if you pretty much roughly paraphrase, and if you do so, all the curses is going to be added on to you, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's 